Hey girls, it's Brittany5802. Um, this is going to be the quick back to school look that I'm going to show you today. I'm hoping this is going to be a short video because I don't really have a lot of time. I've got to do a lot of stuff because I start school tomorrow. So here's the look. It's really dramatic, sexy, smoky. I, I've done a tutorial on one of these already, but this is just a different version basically. So let's just go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is prime your eyes. I forgot to do this off camera, so I'm just going to do it now. Apply your primer all over your lid. And underneath your eye, creating like a little circle or something. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this brush and a dark gray color. It's going to be this one right here for my BH palette. And I'm just going to sweep that completely over the lid. Wipe the brush off a little and then blend it up in the crease just a little bit. Now we're going to take a blue, and I'm using this real, this light blue. You just barely need a little. And we're going to pat that over top of that gray color. So this is what you should have. Next we're going to take our fluffy dome brush like this and we're going to get a dark navy blue and I'm using this one. And we're going to go over that gray. Like in the outer last, leave the inner third of your eye like way it is, don't put the dark blue on that. And then we're going to wipe our brush off and then blend upward a little. Don't blend all the way up to your brow. I'm going to need a little bit more blue and blend a little bit more. seem to look blue to me for some reason. But anyway, just keep adding those colors until you think that you're satisfied. Okay, I think that'll be okay. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these two colors, these two white colors, and just go back and forth and then apply that right above or right underneath your brow and blend make it look like it's fading back towards your brow get a little bit more and do the same thing. I'm going to get a little bit more blue because I got a little bit too much white and just add that right there where those two colors kind of meet and fade it upward a little. And that should do it. Now, we're going to take our liquify black eyeliner and we're going to line our top, um, line the top of our eye. You can be a little bit messy with this, but this adds to the effect. I'm not going all the way in with this. 
Now I'm going to take a small concealer brush like this and just get a little bit of that black eyeliner on there. And we're going to smudge it across the top lash line. like this and now we're going to get some more of it on that brush. Sorry, I forgot to put the lid on my primer. I'm just dropping everything. <laughs> and we're gonna smudge this underneath our eye. Again, I'm not going all the way in. Like that. And now we're going to get a. I'm getting a different eyeliner to line my waterline with because I have sensitive eyes. And that um, previous eyeliner I was using makes my eyes water if it's too close to my eye. So I'm just lining my waterline. You want better payoff if your um, eyeliner is a little bit stubborn and it won't come out the way you want it. Like, hold it underneath, hold it in the flame of a lighter for just a couple seconds and it'll come off a lot easier. Now we're going to take a small concealer brush again, wiped off. We're going to get a very dark black eyeliner, or eyeshadow, excuse me. And we're going to set our eyeliner with that on top and bottom. It also makes it a little bit blacker. Like that. And now we're going to get this white color. And we're going to apply that in the inner corner of our eye. And on the bottom. Well, we have nothing on the bottom. And just sweep this meeting with the blue and the gray. And now we're going to take these two whites from our BH palette and do that and do the same thing. Just go over it to make it a little bit more opaque. Take that dark navy blue again. And we're going to line the bottom of our eye where the black eyeliner is. Just smudge it on the eyeliner. Don't worry if you get it too dark because we're going to uh, apply a lot of mascara so that will help with covering it up. So Now what you want to do is apply either false lashes or two or three coats of a really good mascara to make your lashes full and long and just beautiful. I don't really need to apply three coats because my lashes are pretty long as it is. I'm just going to apply two coats. Don't forget your bottom lashes. You want those dramatic big eyelashes to go with this. So that's the eyes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of my face. This is going to be different than all the other eyeshadow tutorials because I'm going to be wearing all of this the first day of school. So. I've already applied my powder foundation and now I'm just going to 
apply my bronzer from Hard Candy. The bronzing brush. You can either apply this wet or dry. I would prefer dry because I don't really like my skin. And if you apply it wet, then it makes you stand out a lot more and I don't want that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a highlight. This is going to be the shimmery white eyeshadow that I got at Hot Topic. I'm just going to run that across my brush and I'm going to apply it right on top of that bronzer so the highlight will make it stand out. When the light hits it. And now I'm going to do my lips. Which is this NYC just clear lip gloss. And now for the finishing touch, after we've done that, we're just going to take that shimmery white eyeshadow again and run your finger in it, just getting some on the end of your finger, like that, and we're going to dab it in the middle of the lip gloss. And that's your sexy back to school look, guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. Um, I really like this look, and I'm definitely going to be wearing it on the first day. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining in and, you know, taking the time to watch my tutorial. I hope that um, you guys subscribe me. Please leave comments and all that good stuff. So, Thank you guys again so much, and also a special thanks to all my subscribers. You guys' support helps with me a lot, and yeah, so here's a look up close. Again, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!